What's going on guys? Welcome to part two of Paladin's Presence. This deck has been amazing so far. We have gotten three straight wins with it, hopefully going for three straight more. Uh, and I, I love it. It's a really awesome deck. Infinite combos are always really fun when they work. Uh, and it's, it's rare to find one that is competitively viable. Uh, I will say competitively viable in the sense that this is best of one. Uh, so do keep that in mind. It's not, uh, it's not best of three. So this isn't necessarily a perfect test is what I will say, but this does give you a good idea of what we're looking for. Um, and I like that. Just a straight mountain actually worries me quite a lot. So if you watched video one, uh, rampaging for Asadam was a problem. Uh, and so I'm hoping we don't have that issue again. Uh, let's do this, play another soul warden. Uh, we do need to play stuff out here though, so I'm perfectly fine if this eats more burn spells. It is what it is. Uh, we'll just, we've got multiple copies to do very similar things, so. That's good. Uh, ooh, that's very good as well. Um, hmm. It's actually Bond here. Okay, well, it's not amazing, but it's, uh, it's a creature. <laughs> All right. Uh, we really were hoping for the Paladin, uh, to be honest. If we could have gotten the Paladin, we would have been in good shape. Woo. Well, that's really good. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> yeah, you got me. That's actually very good against this deck just in general, but uh, it is what it is. Get a Llanowar Elf out and get a Pilgrim out. Take action. Let's get a get a presence. All right. I mean, it's the best we can do. Chances are we're gonna lose against this deck. Uh, very easy to to say that's probably gonna be the case. Uh, I think we take the opportunity to do this. Um, we can't really have or let them get too many goblins. That can really be a problem. So I think it's okay that we're doubling up there. Uh, yep. Got triple presence. Uh, and here we could, if they attack again, we can just double block the war chief, assuming they didn't have any other thing to do. Um, chances are they will. This is a very strong deck, so chances are we're not going to uh, to win it here. But that's fine. They're being very aggressive with all of this, though. So we're taking that opportunity to deal with at least some of these. Um, all right, we bond. Uh, I think we take this. It survives better against a lot of what they have, uh, and so I think that's our best bet. Ooh, mean. That's a very clean answer, isn't it? Um, yeah. Well done. Really? Okay. Yeah, I was about to say, that seems a little aggressive. Uh, I'm gonna hold off. Well, uh, we are at the point where we just don't have much to do. I mean, we're we're kind of spinning wheels here. We're just, we don't, uh, and, and this happens with a combo deck, obviously, but if you just don't have the pieces, there's not much you can do about it. And unfortunately, we don't have the pieces at the moment. Um, so it is what it is. Uh, yes, they can kill the, the Pilgrim here, but it is a two for one. So I'm going to let them. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yep. I mean, we're pretty dead here. Uh, they've only got three lands, but they've got enough gas, I'm sure, to, to do whatever they need to. Yeah, I'm just gonna let them kill us. That's fine. Well done. They had it. Uh, we... We could block here, but we obviously were at minus two, so it wouldn't have mattered. All right, well, first loss with this deck, and that's totally fine. Like I said, we expect some of that. Uh, with a combo deck in particular, you're going to end up, you know, just not drawing your pieces, or uh, in some cases, drawing some of the pieces at the very wrong time. <laughs> um, and so, unfortunately, that just happens. All right. We can do this let's do it all right do we keep this 
I actually don't think we do. I really want to. Um, you know what? For the sake of science, let's try it. Let's see how likely we are to draw a green source. If we do draw a green source, we're fine. If we don't draw a green source, we're really not fine. Um, like, yes, we've got a couple things to do, but that's not going to be enough. All right. Here we go. <laughs> nope. <laughs> All right. Well. Oh, no. Guys, it's happening. Uh, yes, we do play the Famished Paladin out here. When we're in a, um, a mana crunch like this, it's the best thing we can do to at least play something out. Um, oh, you are amazing. All right. Uh, yeah, we just do this. <coughs> now they have to kill this. Like, literally, they have to, otherwise we just go off. Or this, I guess. They don't necessarily just have to kill that. Ah. Well... I don't think they know this deck because they're reading the cards. <laughs> uh, they may actually go for the priest. Which isn't like a bad call, to be fair. No, okay. Yeah. Definitely the right call. Alright. Well. With that in mind. Uh, hmm. Let's do this. Okay, well, that's pretty good. Gain a little bit of life. Uh, it gives us a doubled up effect here as well, uh, which I really like. Let's get Domery out of here and let's hit them. Uh, cool. I think that play that they did was born out of necessity, obviously. They had to get rid of it. Um, and I think that obviously it does not bode well for them that they had to get rid of Domri there. <clears throat> or their uh, Rada. Sure. And here we literally are just looking for a Paladin. Like everything else is out on the field already. Okay. Um, kind of want to get a second green source here. Uh... Yeah, that'll do it. So this gives us that, uh, which is pretty good. I'm just going to attack all. I'm not blocking this, ro or, uh, yeah, Grand Warlord Rada. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Keep coughing. I mean, they got, like, a ton of mana. They can do a lot, um, whether they actually can, based on what's in their hand or not, I don't know. Okay, that's cool. That's pretty good. It kind of is a bit of a non-bow with Rada, but sure. <laughs> uh, there it is. All right, so we've got the savior to, to protect it a little bit if we can help it. Um, we'll see what they end up doing. But uh, theoretically, we might be okay here. I really do like the how well this deck functions in terms of finding its pieces. It's got a lot of things to help it get there, um, which is really good. Ooh. Well, that stops us. Heaven makes me stronger. Balance comes. They could have killed the enchantment. They could have stopped us, and they didn't. They just didn't see it. Seriously? <laughs> well, here we go. <laughs> I mean, 
They should have killed the enchantment. That was ridiculous. And here again, uh, as we've said in the past, we may have to uh, time lapse. So if we do have to, I'll start that now. Okay, I'm gonna say we don't have to time lapse, mostly because I don't feel like editing. Sweet. Well, we got there. All right, one more game, and hopefully we can uh, get one more win, and then we'll kind of sum up our thoughts on the deck, like I said. So, really liking this. Uh, let's jump into it. Oh, this is such a cool little combo. It's a frustrating combo, um, I'm very sure. Uh, and that's inherently my problem with it. I guess we can go ahead and talk about that. I think... Um, the problem with a combo like this is it's not like a first of all it's a slow combo it takes a while to do it <laughs> um just because there's you know you literally have to click every single time and it's only one life and one thing at a time um and so i think that there's an inherent like this is an annoying combo kind of thing along with it uh but it also doesn't immediately win you the game uh which i think is really uh, so obviously people concede if they can't beat it generally, but what I mean by that is it's not like it's infinite damage. It's infinite gain life, uh, which is great. Um, and it's infinite creatures, but if you have a sweeper, you deal with the creatures, which is the lethal threat on the back end of it. So really like it's not, it's not the, the most, um, it's an annoying combo is what I will say. Uh, and unfortunately here. We're kind of just flooding. Not bad that we've got lands, but uh, also not very good. Um, I'm expecting that they've just got like kind of a silly thing going on here with this brushwag, but if they're playing it slow, that's great. I'd rather them do that. Um, and they can pump this guy up, I'm sure, for tons and tons of damage. Um, the brushwag is a very silly card. Oh my goodness. Wow, we're really flooding. Uh, and the fact that it has trample means that like rushing out to play this presence really isn't a good idea. Um, you know, it'd be great if we could just start spitting out disposable blockers, but it's not an ideal time for that. Okay. Well, we're going to take a hit here. Yep. Yep. And even here, we can't block uh, questing beasts with anything, so. Oh, well. I mean, we did it. Uh, if we make it to next turn, we did it. So that's good. Uh, see how this actually plays out, though. Oh, okay. I mean, that's good, but that's not game winning at the moment. Theoretically. Sure. Again, not game winning. So I think we can win. Yeah, dude. Hit me. Oh, no. Okay. Well, let's play this out. And let's do it. <laughs> this is an underwhelming kind of <laughs> turn, isn't it? <laughs> uh, we just kind of happened into it. That, that was nice. Um... All right, so once again, we may have to time lapse. We'll see what they do. All right, so we got to a hundred life, uh, and we're just gonna we're just gonna pass and see what happens. Um, this is my point, though. That's what's frustrating about a deck like this is I have to sit there and do that every single time, and the opponent probably should give up if they don't have a way to deal with it. But they're gonna because 
people are people. Uh, some people are just going to sit there. Um, and that, I think, is what's frustrating about this. In, in paper play, what you can do is literally just say, like, okay, I've demonstrated this combo a number of times. I'm going to do it X amount of times. And you can just say that, and then you do that. Um, so that the reason is, you know, you got time to play and stuff like that. And so we see here, this person, I'm guessing, just left the game up and is just like, oh, I'm going to get them. You know, I'm just going to wait and not even care. I'll just walk away, make some lunch, whatever. And that is what's frustrating about this deck. Um, so while, yes, this is a very fun deck, uh, when it, you know, when you're up against, I guess, for lack of a better term, just nice and considerate people, <laughs> um, some people are not going to be that way. And it's very annoying when you get in that circumstance. So, uh, it is a great combo. It's a really fun deck, but just keep that in mind. If you are going to try it, uh, that, that's a worry. You're going to have to deal with stuff like that. Um, obviously like if they're in green, they don't have just a sweeper. Uh, they can't deal, excuse me, a hundred damage to us. I'm sure. Uh, and even if they could, we can instant speed activate this combo. So like, it doesn't really matter. Um, and clearly they just disconnected. Like they're just gone. Um, and that's fine, but like, it's very frustrating for for everyone involved <laughs> um and so they're they're just gone um but we can go ahead and summarize the deck i think uh so like i said keep in mind that there will be frustrating games but is it good is really an important question and i think yes it's very good obviously this is best of one uh and best of three is a much different ball game so you'd have to you know test it out there to see uh, but if you're just trying to up your rank in best of one, this is a great way to do it. I think um, it's a bit of a long combo, uh, and sometimes it can be a bit slower. Obviously, a deck like Mono Red Goblins or something like that in Historic is going to be a lot faster generally um, and probably give you a similar win rate. But uh, this is certainly a very good deck, um, and I certainly really, really like it. So got him at minus 62. Um so yeah, definitely worth trying out, but again, keep in mind, it's a bit frustrating sometimes. So uh, hopefully I will be able to uh, time-lapse that stuff up really quick so it's not quite so tedious to, to watch, but I really do appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much for all the support this week uh, and, and hanging out with us during these gameplay videos. Check out uh, the Desert Lands. They should be out very, very soon, uh, at least spoiled, um, and then we'll have them available in our store as soon as we get them in. Um, we might set up a pre-order, I don't know, but just so you know, you guys can check all that out. But I really do appreciate all the support lately, guys. It means a lot, uh, and thank you so much. I'll see you in the next gameplay video.